Hello, in this video we are going to talk about and discuss the additional apps that you can add in by default out of the box into SharePoint Office 365 and maybe some of the benefits that they bring. So here we have a vanilla out of the box SharePoint team site and if I go to the cog and I'm set up as an administrator I should be able to see these options and the one that we're looking at today is as an app so if we click left click as an app it brings us to the app page and there are a variety of apps here available for us to select and also some more over on the second page now what's important to understand is obviously dependent on what you've signed up for and also to a degree what permissions are available depends on uh, some of the apps that are available not all of the apps are available with all of the uh, subscriptions and uh, permission settings so to start off with um, let's have a look at a basic custom list so if we select this we get asked to put in a name let's put custom list in and click create once we do this we'll be redirected to the site content page and we'll see that the app we've added has a new flash called new next to it uh, to allow us to see that that is the new one that's been added so if I left click that, it's now going to take us to this custom list. You'll also notice on the left hand side in the quick launch menu, there is a section called recent and under recent it says custom list. Now the idea behind recent is as you add new items or you navigate to new items, it will come up under the recent list. Now this normally works to about five items, so it'll be the most recent items that you've added uh, and possibly viewed that, that will show that will show here. So if we go back to the app launcher and we add a new app and let's add a document library and again we'll be asked to type in a name and this name is specific to the site uh, this site so if you name uh, another document library on another site it won't conflict because the site ID is the container or even if it's uh, on another collection it won't conflict and if we go to the cog again and we add an app and this time we may add a task a task list and we type in task list and we create that Again, we get the new flash that says task list. If we select it, we get brought into the task list interface. And obviously the task list shows up here on recent. And finally, I add a final app. And in this scenario, we are going to look for a discussion board. And again, going to be asked to fill in a name we get the new flash we select it we're into discussion board you see discussion board shows up on this menu now if you want to navigate back to that content area we would click on the tab and then go to site contents in this panel we get all of the apps that we've deployed into this site and we have this option here to be able to do more things with the application in settings uh, and if we want to remove it um, as an example uh, if I take this one here and we remove 
it'll ask me if I want to remove it and we can remove the application completely from uh, the site. Obviously you need to consider whether that's the right thing for you to do or not. There are a variety of other options here, recycle bin, settings and site workflows that we can look at uh, in a bit more detail. We also get this option here which is adding new subsites, so the ability to be able to add sites underneath this one because this one is currently the top site uh, in the hierarchy for this collection. So this was a little bit about how to add apps uh, and how to manage apps slightly and, and be able to go back and view them. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and we'll discuss uh, some more in another video. Thank you for watching.